Hey everyone, Chris Tim here from Sundella Consulting. In this video, I'm going to talk about something I hear about a lot in my consulting calls, um, and that is how do we change the uh, navigation menu options in Halo? So, you know, the, the menus down the left hand side. How do we change the tabs on the customer view uh, within the, in the, the customers in Halo? How do we do all of these kind of things? How do we change this stuff? So, in this video, I'm going to go through talk about how we would do that, how we would set these things up. Um, so hopefully this is gonna be of use to somebody. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna go ahead and switch into my Halo uh, instance. So at this point, what we can do, um, we can actually see here already, um, right at the very top, is I have already configured mine so that my config button, um, which I think you can see right at the very top, is, um, you know, is linked is is kind of right at the very very top of this screen so how do we do this how do we get this to be where we want it to be and the other thing i'm then talking about is um you know if we go under customers how do we change the order of um, of these tabs or these menus whatever you want to call them uh, at, at the top of the customer and that's very very easy to do um within halo so first thing we want to do is come into the configuration we want to go to advanced settings and we want to scroll probably about maybe two thirds down um, and you will see a screen layout profile. I'm going to set these actually back, both of these back to, to details, um, to defaults. So what should now happen is if I, oh, it hasn't changed my back, but what we'll do is I'll explain kind of how we can, we can get these set. So, um, what we can do is if we click on the screen layout profiles, what you can see is we have an entity here of customer and this controls what we see from a customer perspective. So if we go back into this tab, that's talking about these menu options at the top here. And then we also have an entity, which is the nav menu, which is kind of talking about this menu down the left hand side. So let's go and start with our customer menu. So at the top here, you can see um, our basically created a whole bunch of these. Um, so let's just go in and actually, uh, let's just set these. So if I just move this ever so slightly, and click on the new button. And then in here, I might wanna call this, you can see I've actually had a few tests on it before. So I'm just gonna call it test YT11. And then I go to tab layout, click the edit button. And the tab layout we want is not the default. We actually want a custom tab. So now what we have the ability to do is to just go ahead and move these to wherever we want them to be. So maybe billing is something that you might use a lot of. So you might want to move billing to the top. Um, and you know, maybe you want to use, um, you know, maybe invoices you do quite a lot of. So you want to move these kind of near the top. Now you could also at this point, um, you know, click in here and actually hide that tab completely. Um, so there might be certain things that you don't use, you don't need to see in the customer. You might want to hide that. Or what you might want to do is make a specific view for people who are in maybe finance or who are in um, you know, sales, and maybe they don't need to necessarily see all of these, uh, these tabs. So you can completely hide them altogether. So if we go into test YT11, and before we do anything, you can see this is the order. In fact, I think billing is right in front, so I was playing with this earlier on. But if we now go to back here and we go back to um, our advanced settings, scroll back down again, and this time we click on here on the default customer detail screen, and we click on test YT11. Um, and then if we come back into the customer and we do a quick refresh, what you'll see is, and I think that's accepted it. I think I moved the invoices as well. Um, so I don't know why that hasn't applied. Um, that is the test layout. Oh, I wonder if I've, oh, you know why? Because I think I've overridden it. Um, so, and I'll explain this in a couple of seconds. I'm just gonna come back in here and go to screen layouts. Yeah. What I wanna do is just change this. Back again. Okay. So if I do this now, you will see that I've now changed it where we've got billing and invoices 
are um, where I put them. So this is a really good way for you to be able to kind of move these things around. I do this a lot because these are the two I, I use the most. Um, you know, I, I don't tend to hide any of these myself, but you know, there are some instances where certain of these things, you know, maybe like API access or something, if it's somebody that doesn't need any access to the API, you might wanna hide that information. Okay, so the next one then that we wanna look at is this nav menu. So this thing here down the, down the left-hand side, how do we change this? Well, in exactly the same way. So if we go to uh, nav menu, you can see I've got a bunch of them as, again, but if I click on new, and let's call this YT test 101. And again, the same thing, if we edit the button layout and we click on custom, we now have the ability to move things around wherever we want them to be. So for example, on the config, we can just move the config all the way up. And I normally put mine just below the home button, which is basically, this one's above it, but this is the home button here. I normally put mine just below that. Um, and then things like, you know, that I'm using a lot of, um, again, you know, invoices, I want that to be kind of, you know, relatively near the top. The screen doesn't scroll as well, so I normally just chuck it into there and then I can drag it nearer to the top when I need it. So here we have the, these are the things I wanna move near the top. Now, you'll probably also notice that right down at the very bottom here, and you may not be able to see it too well on the screen, but there's three little dots. Now this is something you'll see and you'll notice more on um, on some of the newer trials with, uh, with Halo. Um, and this is giving us the ability to say, well, you know, rather than also just reordering this stuff, we may actually not even need to, you know, might be certain things like maybe, um, you know, quotes and orders or maybe timesheets or whatever. We don't use those that much, right? So we don't want them just cluttering up this menu. So we can kind of have this, this like sidebar menu that can have these things off to the side. And how do we do that? So very simple. Again, if I kind of go into reporting, maybe that's something I don't necessarily use. I can just click on show in overflow flow, and then I can go into maybe timesheets, show in overflow and click on save. So now it's basically showing those and you can see it actually puts them in here that it's showing them in the overflow. So what I then have to do is I have to come back into the advanced settings and then come down to do, 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 do. keep going down a bit. Come on, I've gone past it. There you go, screen, screen layouts. And then this one for the nav menu, I want to use YT test 11111. And what you should see is almost instantaneously, it changes, it puts invoices, config, etc., right near the top. So this is a really good way to kind of move these things around. And then if I scroll down, I've got my three dots. I've got timesheets and reporting that are kind of sitting in this overflow menu. So really nice way to be able to customize and configure how those menu options look. Now, one of the things you, you probably noticed me doing, it might be, um, my picture might be covering it up, but if you click on the Halo logo or your picture right in the very top, um, I'll just move myself temporarily. Oh, that's locked. Um, if you click on your, your name or the Halo logo right at the very top right hand corner, and then you click on my account, this will bring up um, a view where you can kind of come in here and change some of your preferences. And if you come right down to near the bottom, you've got the screen layouts. Now I mentioned earlier on that maybe you might wanna customize you know, this menu and also maybe customize on the, um, on the menus at the top on the customer, you might wanna customize those based on a particular department. So you can see in here, you know, um, I think it was on this one, um, yeah, I've got one that's called finance. So maybe I'm only gonna show the finance stuff to a person that is in finance. So what they then can do is they can come into here and go, okay, I just wanna see the finance stuff. Oops, wrong one. Um, so I just wanna see the finance stuff. What they can then do is come down to, um, on the, uh, yeah, so actually they, they, they won't change it there. They come down into here. Sorry, I meant to click on my account and then go to edit and come all the way down to preferences, screen layouts. And then I can say, well, you know, for my customer screen layout, I want the finance menu. So that is, is now me as a, as a finance person or whatever, looking at that specific menu um, that you may have created for me. But on the nav menu, 
I just want to use the global default, which is now going to be this YT111. So I'm going to have the same things up here. Again, this is obviously going to be based on your roles. You know, you may not have permission to kind of go into the config or anything like that. So based on your permissions will depend what you see here anyway, but at least I'm going to have them in the, in the same order if somebody picks on global default. So that is the way that a user can change that on their own. Um, so I, I really hope that this has been um, helpful. I would really love it if you could like and subscribe to this video. It really does help the, uh, the YouTube algorithm. It helps me to get more views. It helps me to make more content like this. So a very short video, um, but I just wanted to put it out there because I know a lot of people ask for this um, and it is now possible to do in Halo. So thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.